you can't even see me. This is how huge this flag is, but Jai Hind, Jai Israel, we love you. Okay, so um, now that the flag thing is behind us, Nadav Lapid, Kashmir Files, I want to talk about it. First of all, I do have to say that this film director that was, uh, you know, it, w when I woke up to this news that just uh, made me so angry as an Israeli Jew, because while he, this Nadav happens to have the same passport and the same citizenship as we do, the Israelis, he does not represent us at all. What he represents, in fact, is the radical left in Israel that hate not only India and, uh, you know, people that stand up for themselves, but hate Israel as well. You know, in the same way that radical left in India, they don't just hate Israel and support Palestinian terrorism. They hate India as well, because uh, we have seen throughout the years and history how, uh, you know, whether it was Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that faced severe criticism from the mainstream media and now Narendra Modi, the BJP party, the Likud in Israel. When you stand up for something that's right and correct, when you stand up for historical facts, you get hate for that, unfortunately. Um, and again, on behalf of the Israelis, I do want to say that Nadav Lapid does not represent us. He does not represent us. And uh, I'm ashamed of him, frankly, because I do have to say that Jews in India were never persecuted. Jews in India never faced anti-Semitism and were always welcomed as, as guests, top priority guests. And it's something that we never forget. In the same way that the Indian nation never forgets how Israel has helped India throughout history. For example, the Cargill War. And we never forget how brave Indian cavalry brigades liberated Haifa. Our history is, is together. It's built. It's coming together like no other history. And I think that to see how it is being built today, that's just fascinating. And also, on the other hand, to see how radicals are trying to destroy it, we have to keep in mind that we have people that want to destroy our alliance and we cannot let this happen. We have to keep building it. I think that one of the things that brought Israel and India closer together is it's not just the common values, common interests, you know, democracy and the will to develop and to make this world a better place. India and Israel are already making this world a better place together. Terrorism, radical Islamist terrorism brought India and Israel closer together to cooperate, to share, to train together, to develop missiles together like the Barak 8. This is just amazing that from pain, from our blood being shed, we came together to make sure that we fight terrorism together, we fight radicalism together and say no to this and make sure that another Holocaust and another genocide will not happen again. And I think that, you know, I've said this before in previous videos that being an Israeli Jew whose people were massacred by the Nazis in the Holocaust, that, that makes me, you know, I think that it's our responsibility to say never again. And by never again, it's obviously not just for another Holocaust, uh, on, against the Jews, but any Holocaust, any genocide. Um, and unfortunately, the Kashmir genocide feels like it is the least talked about genocide uh, in, in modern history because until the Kashmir Files movie, I rarely heard about the Kashmir genocide uh, of Hindus by radical Islamists backed by Pakistan, of course. Um, I didn't hear about it over here in, in Israel and when, when I would travel abroad. Uh, to Europe and America, I rarely heard about it. The only time I heard about it was when I researched and when I learned by myself. And I feel like the Kashmir Files brought this topic and this issue to the front, to the front of the stage of the world arena, and people are talking about it. And that's very, very good. I'm, I was very inspired to talk about it and to, rate, to be the voice of the persecuted Hindus that maybe don't have access to social media, maybe uh, they, they can't speak for themselves, maybe they're jailed, butchered. Those, those that cannot speak for themselves, they're probably laying under the ground. And it is our jobs, Jews, Hindus, everybody, to tell their stories, to share, to let the world know about the suffering of Hindus 
by the hands of radical Islamists. Um, so I do want to kind of conclude my thoughts on this and say, you know, it's very important for me to say that Israel and India are standing together no matter what. We're not going to let anyone destroy this amazing friendship, you know, because we're like family. Israelis view India as, as our uh, brothers and sisters, that we're one family. And it's okay to have, uh, you know, arguments and it's okay to have, uh, you know, to not agree on everything. It's family. But at the end of the day, we have to remember that India and Israel face same threats and same future. And the more we cooperate and the more we work together, the better it's going to be for our peoples. Um, and I think that our nations are understanding it more and more and more. And I'm very glad that I'm privileged and have this opportunity to speak up for um, what's happening, you know, in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, just a few uh, kilometers from where I, where I am, and also the conflict between uh, Indian land that is trying to be stolen by Pakistani terrorists. Um, you know, it's unthinkable. So I will continue to speak up for my Indian friends, my Indian family, and I want to thank you as well for continuing to speak up for us, for the Israelis. Uh, we have a battle to fight, and we're going to win. Love you all. Jai Hind. Namaste. Jai Israel.